Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through matrix for analysis model. Okay, so matrix for analysis model are useful in estimating the project guys. Okay, so the matrix examine the analysis model with the intent of predicting the size of the resultant system. So basically, once we are done with the analysis model, okay, so once we are done with the analysis model, we will be going through designing, right? Okay, so before going to designing, this step is mandatory guys, based on the requirements, you will be analyzing the things here in analysis model. Okay, so the functional functional based matrix that is nothing but functionally point is nothing but to measure the standard worth of the software. So current worth of the software as a unit of software worth. Okay, so functional point was developed for these kind of things. So basically there are five different functional units guys. Those are nothing but I lf that is nothing but internal logic files okay so internal logic files are used for the control information or logically related data that is present in the system within the system and we will also be having the files which are called as eif that is nothing but external interface files so these control the references by the system but present in another system like that is nothing but you can say outside the system Okay, similarly external input that is nothing but EI data control info that comes from outside of our system. So from outside it's coming to inside and external that is nothing but from uh, that goes out of the system. So basically this goes out of the system that is nothing but external output you can say and external enquiries. So we'll be doing some queries which are done for the external things. Okay, so combination of input and output resulting the data retrieval. Okay, so if you draw a small diagram for an L ILF system, it will be in this way. So you'll be sending the output to a particular user or someone and you'll be taking the input from the user and you'll be querying the user. So basically we are assuming multiple users so multiple operations can be done on them. Okay. So if you take a small formula for this, guys, I did not, I did find only the formulas guys. I did, I did try to search for some problems, but I didn't find any proper problem for, exp for our explanation. Okay. So FP is equals to UFP into CIF. That is nothing but FP indicates a functionally point and UFT, UFP indicates, sorry, indicates unadjusted functional point and CAF indicates complexity adjustant, adjustant factor. So basically if you substitute these two formulas, at the end you will be getting FP is equals to total into 0 0.65 plus 0 0.01 into the F equal to 1 to 14. So you will be giving the values of F equal to 1 to 14. So based on that you will be getting. So this is just a small introduction about metrics for analysis model guys because I also didn't find the proper notes. So I also gave you just a small introduction for it. So in the next lecture we will be going through metrics for designing model. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.